Coming up, we hear from Mayor Paul Tenaken about the state of emergency in Sioux Falls. And we hear from a local business owner after his business was vandalized. Good morning, this is Kevin Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll get to our top stories in just a bit, but first let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Scott Munt. Well, good morning, everybody. We are looking at a hot day today. It's already a mild start. Temperatures in the upper 60s and even some lower 70s in south central South Dakota. And these temperatures will continue to warm as we do go through the day. So sunny and hot, 90s for today. Dry and mild tonight, much like what we had last night into early this morning. Temperatures eventually falling to the 60s to near 70 degrees. Another hot day tomorrow, especially in the eastern Kettle Land. We'll have to watch for storm chances that will develop during the late afternoon hours and into the evening and more storm chances Thursday into the first half of the weekend. Details, more details in Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks, Scott. Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken declared a state of emergency for the city last night and a citywide curfew was in effect until 7 this morning. Uh, this afternoon, we had some protests in our city, some peaceful protests uh, that started really well uh, and have ended uh, on a sour note this evening that we're dealing with at this very moment. Uh, because of the nature of those protests and uh, they have pivoted from being peaceful to being destructive in our city, we're taking some action tonight. The emergency declaration came after a violent situation broke out in the Empire Mall parking lot. Our news crew was on the scene and was able to get this video. You're able to see people throwing something at responders and hanging out of car windows. According to Sioux Falls Police, officers heard 15 to 20 gunshots near TJ Maxx. Authorities don't know if the gunshots were directed at anyone or anything. No serious injuries have been reported. Governor Noem also spoke out regarding the events in Sioux Falls, saying South Dakota doesn't tolerate violent protesters. Uh, we take the protection of rights very seriously, including the right to peacefully protest. But rioting and looting will not be tolerated in South Dakota. Governor Noem activated the National Guard last night to assist with monitoring the situation. Businesses in Sioux Falls are also dealing with damage following the violent clash. Vince Lubin is the owner of the Verizon store at 41st Street and Kiwanis Avenue. He was working to clean up damage to his store as of last night after the store was broken into. It's not about the phones themselves. It's not about the accessories that were stolen or the broken glass. It's just the lives that are being impacted tonight uh, with this stupidness, absolute stupidness. The store does have surveillance video of the vandalism, and Lubin says it appears young kids are the culprits. You can see our full interview with Lubin right now on Kelloland.com. The number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise in South Dakota. According to the State Department of Health, there are now more than 1,000 active cases of the virus statewide, with 86 of those infected currently being treated in hospitals. The virus has also claimed the lives of 62 South Dakotans. On a positive note, more than 3,800 people have recovered. New numbers are expected later this morning. The State Department of Health is also confirming a potential COVID-19 exposure at a Sioux Falls gym. According to the Health Department, a person who visited Planet Fitness along West 41st Street in Sioux Falls tested positive for COVID-19. The state says the person visited the business while able to transmit the virus to others on May 23rd and May 26th. If you happen to visit the gym on those days, you're asked to monitor for symptoms for two weeks. Brian? All right, turning to weather, hot day today, 90s in the forecast. South winds too, which will of course bring in more humidity throughout the day today across much of the east. So just kind of put that together and Think about staying hydrated. You got to stay on top of that. The stories are changing quickly in weather as it's uh, suddenly summer, I guess you could say. Tonight looks dry. We're not forecasting much of the way of rain chances until tomorrow. Now, the wild card here tomorrow will be the cap on the atmosphere and uh, gauging the timing and the strength of how this cold front feature is going to come through later in the day. You'll see the morning forecast starts dry. We already have a northwest wind, though, running through Pier and Rapid City, so those areas stay dry. Probably right now, the best focus for storms is going to be in Minnesota. That's where, you know, if you look at everything together, that's where the most likely concentration will be. But there will be a trailing line 
coming down through Sioux Falls and maybe northeast Nebraska. So some storms will probably fire along that in different spots. I would probably tend to favor northwest Iowa a little bit more on that. And then a separate patch of storms could fire up in southwestern South Dakota. And then that'll be about it for that. And then we'll probably gear up for some more scattered activity on Thursday. There is the highlighted area, though, on the risk map across southern Minnesota tomorrow. So do take note of that. 93 today, Sioux Falls, 94 Mitchell, 85 Rapid City. Still mild tonight, lows here mid to upper 60s. And tomorrow, more 90s in the southeast. So stay cool the best you can, guys. All right, thanks, Brian. And thanks for joining us for Kelloland Land on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Land. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now go have a great day.